Hello! Here is a quick tutorial on how to spawn a digital asset with input geometry from Unreal directly through a blueprint. And this is going to be very helpful if you want to make an editor tool that automates Houdini Engine in some way, like the one you see on screen. And I'll be using this scriptable tool blueprint as an example. Um, and if you're curious, I also posted a video with details on how I set that up, but there are also tons of other applications, and I just want to share a few tips to help jumpstart you on the blueprint logic for whatever tool you might want to make. So we are actually going to get started in Houdini. I just laid down a geometry node, and then I'm going to go ahead and dive in and add an object merge, and then actually save this asset as an HDA. And so yeah, give this a good name and save it in a location you'll remember. And then you can destroy all spare parameters. And I'm gonna close this window just so I show you how I access it from the toolbar. But yes, once I edit, go back to edit asset properties. I'm gonna then go to the parameters panel. And We've already dived in, so I'm going to go ahead and grab this object slot from my object merge into the parameters for my HDA, and then I'm going to give it a name I will remember. Um, this is important. So yeah, I'm going to call it spline input, and then the label can be whatever you want it to be, but the name is what you're going to have to remember. And then go ahead and accept these changes and then save your asset before returning to Unreal. So now we're in Unreal. And this is just the scriptable tool I've already built. Um, and again, you can check out how I did that if you're interested. But all I want is for these splines that I'm able to freehand draw to be an input for HDA generation. And for this to automatically happen after I draw each spline. And so I'm going to trigger this from an on drag end event. But again, this is this event isn't as important. It's just going to depend on your use case. What is important is to then get a get Houdini engine public API node. And then we're going to create an empty input from that. And the input class is going to be a Houdini API public world input. And if you don't see these nodes, it probably means you don't have Houdini Engine installed. So, of course, that's kind of a given. But then we're going to set this world input as a variable. This world input is literally the input from our um, Unreal scene that we're then going to feed in as a parameter to our HDA. And so now we have to actually set that input object to our spline. And so I'm going to first make an array. and then get a reference to the spline that's already being generated from my scriptable tool and is now um, an input object. And so, um, yeah, to be clear, I'm just using the spline because that's how my scriptable tool works, but you could use other types of input geometry as well. Just depends on your use case. Uh, but now I have my process HDA node and we're gonna want the in parameter inputs. So we'll make a map first to set this properly and that this will automatically typecast. And then the key is going to be the name of our parameter, which is spline input, if you remember. And so yeah, make sure you don't have any like typos there because that will be frustrating. And then we'll go ahead and set the value to our world input. And then there are also a ton of other options for you to play around with that can be very useful, but um, for our simple use case, this will be fine. And now we have to actually set our Houdini asset. So let's go ahead and import that into our project first. I'll get the HDANC file and drag it in. And as you can see, it's now in our project. So we can hop back to our blueprint. Uh, and yeah, we're going to go ahead and set our Houdini asset now to the one we just dragged into our project. 
And now let's go back to Houdini so we can actually see if our spawn is being imported. So I'm going to go ahead and open Houdini Session Sync. Session Sync is really awesome because it literally lets us see exactly what Houdini Engine is doing within uh, a Houdini file. And so it'll show us all of the generated geometry and it'll lay down all the nodes that we're creating within Unreal Engine but in Houdini so that we can have the transparency we need to fix things or debug or see what is even happening exactly. So once I check that it's on, I'm gonna then draw a spline and now we see the Houdini logo, which means engine is running. And yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and drag this window here so you can see that the spline that I drew is now been properly imported as an input into the scene. Um, this is going to be very handy because I can now see like what exactly Unreal Engine is even feeding into Houdini and I can even drag this curve input now and copy it and I'm going to go back to the HDA and paste it in so I can kind of use it to like help me build my tool. And so obviously I'm gonna to wanna to draw a lot of cool, use this to drive a lot of cool geometry, but for now I'll just use a poly wire. And I'm just gonna say I'm happy with this for the moment. And I'm now gonna connect this poly wire to my object merge and set the visibility to the end of this graph, which is just two nodes at the moment. And I'm gonna save because I now wanna see if this even works. Um, and so I'm going to restart my session. And we don't necessarily need session sync now because we're going to have clear output in Unreal. And yeah, as you can see, there's no geometry being generated using this blind input. So I'm going to go back to Houdini and I just swapped out the polywire to some more complex, cool looking geo that I spent some time working on. Excuse the messy <laughs> tree, but now if we want to set a material in Unreal, we're going to use an Unreal Material node. And I'm going to go back to Unreal so that I already have a material in my scene. And I'm going to go ahead and copy a reference to that material from Unreal. And this is cool because now I can just paste it in uh, into the string and now it'll automatically assign the material to my asset upon generation. So now I'm going to save again. And restart my session. And there we have it, a blob with the material already assigned. So this is kind of like a one-click solution um, so that, you know, by automating Houdini Engine for an editor tool, you then don't have these extraneous clicks and you get to final pixels faster um, as you work. And, of course, you still have the Houdini window um, in Unreal so that you can change the spline input, change parameters, expose more parameters in Houdini, and either initialize them in blueprints or just change them, you know, through this window. It's kind of totally up to you. It can be a very bespoke solution, but I hope that some of this logic just helps you get started um, with connecting the engine to blueprints. And yeah, I just hope this is helpful in some way. Thanks for watching and bye.